Hello everyone, welcome to this new video review dedicated to CodeCloud. One of the best e-learning places to get into loads of advanced sectors such as cloud native computing and much more. It collects courses at every level, whether you start as a beginner or you are an expert developer. To follow this review, you do not need to know the very basics of computer or cloud programming, since CodeCloud courses are designed for you to get started without any prior domain knowledge. At the home page, click on Start Free to create your CodeCloud account by providing an email address needed to access free courses, interactive labs that give you hands-on confidence to practice the concepts you have learned, and also be a part of the big community made of instructors and students on CodeCloud. On the top, you can go to Learning Paths, designed to help you in your DevOps journey and guide you on where to get started and what all courses you must follow in order. You can learn DevOps basics, Docker, Kubernetes, Linux, HashiCorp, infrastructure as code and programming. Each category shows the courses in order of difficulty, making this page a single learning place from beginner to very advanced levels. CodeCloud offers more than 40 courses you can browse by using the filters. Some of these courses are offered for free. Some others may require a CodeCloud subscription plan. These courses usually come with several video lessons. As well as practical labs, such as exercises you can perform in front of a real case shown. For example, performing a given task while acting a responsive Linux terminal. These gamified labs at CodeCloud validate your task against the correct response and help you understand the concepts in a better way. Besides the courses, you also get the challenges labs for you to perform using your knowledge on a particular concept and, if you are stuck, you can take the help of CodeCloud support. This is not just a list of questions, but indeed a set of exercises you can do without lab solutions. CodeCloud also offers cloud computing and DevOps environments to practice on, called playgrounds, compatible with lots of different platforms, including Google Cloud, Azure, Amazon AWS, Kubernetes, and much more. For example, let's pick an AWS Cloud Playground. CodeCloud will generate temporary credentials such as account ID, username, and password, which you can use to log into the AWS console for 180 minutes and act inside the AWS dashboard to start working. CodeCloud includes CodeCloud Engineer a virtual company where you will be assigned tasks, as it happens with real jobs. It allows performing several tasks from the very basic ones, such as Linux Administrator, to higher levels, such as DevOps Engineer or DevOps Architect as you gain more points and unlock advanced tasks. While performing tasks at CodeCloud Engineer, you can get DevOps job-like experience and crack DevOps interviews once you have studied the courses and implemented those skills. Whenever you need help and support, you are not alone. Under Resources, you can open the official community forum to leave a topic and get help and feedback from the CodeCloud community made of students, experts, and instructors. You can ask for help related to a specific course or on CodeCloud in general. CodeCloud comes with two different subscription plans with a 30-day money-back guarantee. With CodeCloud Standard, you get access to all the courses and labs whereas switch to Pro if you want to access courses, labs, but also the playgrounds and the sandboxes within your browser for you to practice anything. If you need even more support, you can join the Slack community. This is indeed a reserved area to get immediate and live support on several topics, as well as stay connected with the CodeCloud teams as they keep launching new courses and playgrounds every month. Thank you very much for watching this review. Make sure to check our links in the video description to learn more about CodeCloud. Do not lose the opportunity to join CodeCloud to start with a free beginner course for Docker.